Okay, so charging voltage for uh, 3.7 volts lithium battery. All right, let's go and computer. All right, let's go to Google charging voltage. Charging voltage 3.7 volts lithium and so on. Let's see what it does. Here you go. The 3.7 lithium battery is lithium battery with a nominal charge of 3.7 volts and the full charge of uh, 4.2. All right, so what do we have here? A 3.7 volts. This is the nominal charge of the bastard thing and fully charged should be 4.2 volts all right so this is all in theory for the the bastard thing to be charged you're gonna need a constant voltage of uh, 4.2 volts and when it's gonna reach that voltage you're gonna need to top it up with a constant current source all right, so let's get started. For this project, I, I did choose a power bank like this one. This is a common one. Let's see if it's gonna focus. Here you go. Input 5 volts, 0 0.8 amperes. Capacity 1200 milliamps. Output 5 volts, 1 amp. Birmingham, UK, whatever. So this is a common from Pound Shop uh, power bank. Why I choose this one? Because inside it's got a 3.7 lithium ion battery. It's got a charging circuit, a discharging protection, and as well the, the cell itself. Here you go. Let's top it the bastard up. Come on. Come on. Here you go. This is the, the cell. 18650. A charging port. All right, so now we're gonna have uh, this one is doing the 4.2 volts. So we're gonna need the 4.2 volts. Let's uh, find some setup here and I'll be back. All right, so we got here a power supply. Like I show you, I got a circuit breaker here and we're gonna measure the, the thing. Let's find some voltage meter. Put it where to put it where to see it. Here you go. Let's turn the faster thing on. Let's turn the circuit breaker on. And should go to six AC. So we do have two three six two three six volts. Alright. Now we're gonna measure the, the battery. We're gonna put it on to the DC volts. Here you go. This is the minus terminal and should be here here we go we got 3.4 volts on the battery yeah and now we do have a charging port and i do have this uh, charging doctor you saw this one in my previous videos you can check it out in the links or in the playlist this one is going to show you all the voltage and the amps as well all right, now we have to find some cable, a USB cable, here we go, we got the USB cable as well, let's plug it into the doctor, there you go, we have it here, and let's see if we can plug this one straight away, yeah, how about it, apparently yes, we can do it straight away to plug the, <laughs> The USB charger into the circuit breaker. How about that? Man? Do not hold it too tight. Do not tighten it too tight. This is just for demonstration purposes only. Here you go. Huh. How about it? You can put a charger straight into the, the circuit breaker. Huh. Damn it. Fucking hell, man. All right. So, let's turn the, the bastard thing on. As you can see, you got there four, five... Uh, 5 volts and 0 amps. Let's put it into the. Let's stop it first. 
Ah, that motherfucker. Die. Damn it. Come on. Okay. He's got some capacitive uh, resistance over there, so he's gonna stop a little bit longer after he's gonna shut off. So, we did put the voltage regulator, the, vo uh, the lithium ion cell charger, and this is uh, already made. You don't have to reinvent the wheel, just adjust to it. So, we got the charger here, straight from a uh, power bank. Where the hell is it now? It's here somewhere. Alright, so we do have the power going from here, from the mains to the charge inductor to the thing itself. I'm gonna try to put the probes to show you how it's gonna increase the voltage. Alright, so we got here. Let me find a place to put the, the probes. Maybe here. Here you go. We got the probes connected to the thing. Let's turn on the main breaker. Here you go. You can see here 5.14 and 0 0.8 amps. So it's going to the maximum. An LED is flashing. As you can see, this is the indicator that the cell, the lithium ion cell, is charging. As you can see over there, the voltage is rising. Let's uh, wait a little bit. It's gonna rise uh, quite quickly because I think this one is charged or no, not quite. It's gonna start off charging. When we're gonna see a decrease in the amps, that means the voltage has uh, reached to the potential. So as the voltage climbs up, the amps are going down. But now it's gonna be uh, this kind of creepy stuff moving back and forth, back and forth. This conclusion the voltage is going up to 4.6 and the amps is 0 0.66 yeah 6667 my friends we are at the mark of 4.2 volts like they stated on the on a theoretical plan we can see here we are drawing 0 0.09 amps from here to something else should gonna go a little bit more but we don't have uh, time to waste all right friends so in conclusion we're gonna put another uh, this is the same circuit as, as the, the one before as this one but without the battery to see the voltage needed for this uh, circuitry to work all right so we're gonna find out the actual voltage that we need for the charging of our lithium ion cells or single cell 3.7 volts. All right, so let's go plus to plus, minus to minus. And here you go, friends. As they stated, we're gonna need 4.2 volts, 4.2. We're not doing nothing because we don't have the power, the, the battery connected to the, to the buster thing. All right, friends, so in conclusion, we're gonna need a power supply that's uh, able to deliver 4.2 volts slash one amp for a period of one or two hours. Here you go. This is the, the stuff that we need. So this is for one cell. For a nine volts pack, let's say, we're gonna need uh, 8.4 nearly 9 volts and for a 12 volt pack we're gonna need like 12.6 or 13 volts thanks all for watching let me know thumbs up subscribe and see you on the next one ciao ciao